Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Search Engine Optimization and in On-Page Optimization, we will discuss about Image Optimization. What Image Optimization is all about, what are the key factors related with Image Optimization and why in the first place we need to do Image Optimization. Let's get started with it. What is Image Optimization? Image, in, image Optimization involves two basic things. One is of course reducing the size of the image without losing the quality of the image, number one. The second factor is giving a name and identity to an image and make it more accessible. These are the two key elements related with image optimization. When we have images on the websites, on the blogs, sometimes we overlook the factor that the size of the image. It puts a lot of burden on the website or on the blog, making it slower. Make sure that the images you choose to put it on the website, on the different pages of the website or even on the blog, have size of the images reduced. Should not have high volume of, you know, high volume of uh, having high load of images where the image size is too big and that puts an extra burden on the website. The second factor is giving a name and identity to an image. More often than not, what we have seen is the developers actually who de design and develop the website, they do not give an appropriate name to the images that are being implemented on the website or a blog. Giving a name and identity on the web on the images for the images is extremely important. How to optimize an image? Google uses page load time a factor in ranking the websites. Page load factor is an extremely important element, a factor in ranking the website. The more the images you have, that is fine. But the high volume of images in terms of the number of capacity it is offering, that is, that is extremely important. So make sure that the images you upload on the website do not have too much of load on the website. The low, in quality of the image is extremely important without losing the quality of the image, reduce the size of the images which is extremely important. Use image resize tools to reduce the size of the images. There are many tools available for us to resize the image of the, to resize the image of to, that you are putting on the website. The images have to be resized, make sure that you reduce the size of the image in terms of the capacity it is holding and make sure that the quality is not lost. And to do this, there are many tools available for us. Tools such as PicMonkey, Pixlr, PhotoFlexer are good. These are the tools that help you when you download an image from somewhere that you want to use on the website and that image has to be optimized using these tools. Use this tool to optimize the image, reduce the size of the image, resize the image and then use that image on your website or a blog. Typically an image size should not be around 70k. That is extremely, don't put images that have in high MB, you know, 5 MB, 10 MB, 20 MB, that will not work. Even if you download an image with the 10 MB of size, make sure that you use these tools and reduce and resize the image, bring it up to 70K without actually losing the quality of the image. It is possible to do that. JPEG is the most best format for an e-commerce website. There are different formats available. JPEG is available, then many, many different formats are available. JPG is available, TIFF is available. There are many formats available, but make sure that you can use a JPEG format that helps you a lot. All to talk. The other factor besides from resizing the image, besides from e optimizing the image, the other factor in image optimization is giving a name and identity to your image. Alt tag is an alternative attribute within an image tag. When you have an image, when designers and developers actually design the website and upload it to the server, they actually give a tag to it and that actually actually the, the identity and name of the image and alt tag or alternate tracking is extremely important factor in image optimization as far as search engine optimization is concerned. Alt tag is given a name to it. Example of a good alt tag is let us say image source is equal to since it is a WordPress site uh, link the WP content slash uploads. If you have an image that is flamingo give flamingo.jpg and the alternate to, to it is pink, pink flamingo. 
this is a good example of a image optimization as far as alternative tags or all tags is concerned. It is basically identifying the image that you are uploading on the website. Each and every image that you upload on the website must have an alternative tag so that the search engines understand what this image is all about. Given an alt tag is considered a good practice in SEO. Extremely important, you identify the image that you are uploading and give a name to that image and that is actually what is called as alt tags. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is an image optimization, why to optimize an image and what are alt tags. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you again.